The first step of transforming the cage mesh into a hypernymph is to establish a structure for the cells. The structure will end up looking something like this. From this we can draw individual cells. Let's start by making a new layer. I'll name the layer structure, make it the default layer, and give it an orange color. In order to draw the structure, I need the center line of each branch for the cage mesh. By drawing two lines on top of the cage mesh, I can construct the center line from the midpoint of these lines. I'll repeat this for a few more branches. Next, I'll extend the lines so they overlap. This will give me an outline of the cell. Let me just make another cell. I'll clean this up a bit by deleting the initial lines and trimming the center lines. The result would look something like this. The lines will not always intersect in 3D, but that's okay, we will compensate later. You will have to adjust the center line in order to simplify and improve the cell structure. Short cell segments produce poor results, so here I use triangles instead of quads for the cells to the left. Repeat these steps for both sides of the cage mesh. The structure curves could look something like this.